Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Finally, a new video. Today, we're gonna unbox the new Series 8 and a new night fan. Let's go. Here it is. Oh my god! After three years, I get a new watch, and, and this is the Nike band that I got called Magic Ember Crimson Please. I got both on Best Buy, by the way, and this one is from 2021. Okay, one thing about the boxes, uh, they don't come with a plastic wrap anymore, just so you know. And what color did I get? I got the Starlight Watch and the Starlight Band. Okay. Let's see. Um, this pouch is not fabric anymore like in previous watches. Now it's a cardboard. Okay, and the color is definitely unique. It's like a champagne. Compared with my Gold Series 5, it looks very light. I was going to get the 7, but it came in Starlight, and I really wanted a gold. So I waited for the 8, but the 8 came in Starlight too. So I just got it because I wanted to upgrade it. But yeah, this color is like a light yellow gold, very light, almost silver. And it looks like the 8 is thicker all around. Compared to the 5, it looks bulkier. The crown and the home button looks the same and the speakers are different. And uh, the 1 millimeter difference is very noticeable when you see it from the top. The back sensor is different too and fancier because now it has a temperature sensor, sleep tracking, and crash detection. Uh, it also comes with these instructions and with the charger cable but not the power adapter. And this is a Starlight Band. At Best Buy, um, they only sell the Starlight Watch with the Starlight Band. But if you go to Apple.com, you can choose a different color. Or a different style of band. Um, when you order, they ask you if you want a small, medium, or medium, large. Because now they only send you your size. They used to send you three pieces, so you had both sizes. But not anymore. The color of this band is like a light concrete and it matches really well with the watch, I think. Oh yeah, the watch and the band look beautiful together. To me, it's a bit too light. I like a little more color, but I mean, it's beautiful. Very elegant. And my night band, my first night band, by the way. It comes with three pieces, medium, large, and small, medium. Oh my God, it's gorgeous. The Apple Watch ones, they feel heavy and soft. They feel expensive and they have really good quality. And this color is absolutely gorgeous. Oh, wow. Look at this. Oh my god, it looks so beautiful. I absolutely love it. I highly recommend this van if you can still find it at Best Buy. It's so soft and so pretty. Okay, and the steps to connect your watch with your phone is just put it together and then you're going to see this window and just follow the instructions. The camera is going to read the code. It's going to pair. Connecting, terms and conditions, Apple ID, you have to put your Apple ID, no passcode. Okay, now it's syncing and it takes a little longer, but I'm going to cut the video. Okay, and up here you have the list of your watches. So I got my Series 5 and the new one. And you can switch between them automatically if you want. And here you have face gallery. And you can see the new watch faces available for you. You always have to have your software up to date so you can see the latest faces that you can use. Um, contour, for example, this one is only available for 7 or 8. I can't see it on my 5. And I think I'm going to use this one. And here you can change the color. So this one's going to match nicely with the band. Oh yes. Now I'm going to put the same face on my 5 because I want you to see the difference 
on the size. I uh, remember that the uh, 8 is 41 millimeters and the 5 is 40 millimeters and the difference in sizes is on the screen. If you measure it across, you'll see it. That's why they named them, you know, with all those size names. Um, that's just the size of the screen. But the adapter holes stay the same. The watches and bands that are compatible with themselves are the 38, 40, and 41 millimeters because their adapter holes are the same size. For the bigger size watches, the 42, 44, and 45 millimeters can exchange bands with themselves. So the major difference between these two is that one millimeter more on the screen. This one has a little more black on the sides. But like I said before, the adapter hole is the same on these two watches. So my 40 millimeters can use my new 41 millimeter bands. Here's a starlight, it says 41. And it fits perfectly on my 40 millimeters. So if you have an older watch with a compatible size, you can exchange bands between them. All right, so this wasn't a deep tech review, just a video to show you um, the watch and my first impression. And the first difference that I see is that the screen is definitely bigger. Everything looks a lot bigger and I really love that. I want to try the Starlight to see how it looks with different color bands. I'm very curious about that because you guys know that I have about 300 <laughs> watch bands. Um, and maybe not all the colors will look good with this watch, but we'll see. I'm going to post that video next. Okay, I hope you liked this video. And if you did, please give it a thumbs up. And remember that it's always free to subscribe. See you next time.